Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Kaiweets Smart Multimeter. This is the model KM201, and this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video, and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual. So you want to read through this so you can properly use your multimeter. This talks about the features. It has a non-contact voltage probe, flashlight, display, function buttons, function indication description, comm, input. You long press the power button to turn it on or off. Short press the function to switch the function. Long press it to turn on or off the backlight. Then the flashlight button, it says data hold. Short press the button to turn on off data hold function. Flashlight, long press to turn on or off flashlight. It says the meter will automatically enter sleep mode if there's no operation in 15 minutes. You want to press the function, then power at the same time to turn on the meter. If you press function and power at the same time to turn on the meter, the auto off function will be canceled. So this has an auto mode. It says don't use it to test voltages over 600 volts. So if you don't want to use the auto mode you can press that function button to select a specific function so the meter automatically recognizes voltage resistance and continuity if the resistance of the measured resistor or circuit is less than 500 ohms the buzzer will beep and the green backlight will be lit then for non-contact voltage measurement press function to ncv the ncv probe gradually approaches the detection point when the meter senses weak ac signal the green backlight lights and the meter beeps slowly the display shows l when it senses a strong ac signal it beeps fast and shows h then we have live measurement so you connect your red lead to a test point, and again, if it has a weak signal, it will beep slow and show L. If it has a strong one, it will beep fast and show H. It has phase measurement. You can pause and read through those instructions. Here's some general specs. The display measurement is 2000 counts. It's true RMS. It takes two AAA batteries, and here are the accuracy specs. Here, this talks about maintenance. Okay, pull the meter out. So this has built-in test leads. Now this meter may not be for everyone. Someone may say, oh, I want replaceable leads. That's not really the purpose of this. This is supposed to be a simple meter. Let me pull this plastic off here. So I see a meter like this and I automatically think this would go great in a car or an RV. You're not gonna be using your meter every day in the RV. It's nice to have one on hand in case you have an issue. And this takes up very little space and you're not gonna lose the leads. So let's pull the leads out of here. And we want to put the batteries in. So it does come with batteries. So I'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Looks like a number one Phillips. Now that screw is not captive, so make sure you don't lose that. We'll pull this open, batteries in. Let me pull these leads apart. So the leads are around 27 inches or so. So to turn it off, we'll hold down the power button. It turned on automatically when we put the batteries in. We'll hold it down to turn it on. Let's look at the backlight. So it's kind of hard to see there, but I'll show that in a bit with the light off. So I'll hold down again to turn it off. And then we hold this down and we have a flashlight. So it's not the brightest flashlight in the world, but if you're working on an appliance or something, you need to read a serial number, you can turn that on and that'll help read it. So this is in the auto mode. Now these probes have these protectors on here. I think that's to get the cat rating. So I'll take those off so they're a little longer. So let's test this on a couple things. Here I have a nine volt battery. First we'll try it properly. So I got 9.36. Now let's try it backwards. And I got negative 9.36. So it automatically realized that we're testing DC voltage and it figured that out. Here I have a sealed lead acid battery. Now this is no good anymore. Let's measure it. And here we're getting, look at these protectors off here. 10.41, 10.42 volts. So that's low. And this is an old battery, so it's no good. So we can also measure AC. Now, if you don't know how to do this safely, you should learn that before you do that. So I'm going to put the black in common. Let's get this situated so you can see it. Black in common, red and hot. And here we have 123.8 volts. Now this also has a hold feature. So let's get this measurement here. So say we can't read the meter, we could press that hold button and we take it off. We can see that there. This also has the non-contact voltage. So let's hit function. Here we have NCV. So here we have a power line. We'll hold it here and we hear that L. Let's put it near the hot here. It says H. Now what you want to do with the non-contact voltage is you want to test it against a known supply. So go to a plug you know works, test it, make sure you hear it beep before you test it on the circuit you want to know if it's live or not. So now this is showing hot on both sides here. So it's not meant to be super precise in that fashion. So let's hit function again. This is live. So let's try it here. Not really getting anything there, but it might be this here. Now this is a tamper-proof outlet, so I need to put an adapter in. Let's try that here. Not working great. Let me just try my, I have an outlet strip back here. 
So that's showing up live there. But function again, there we have phase. And we'll go back to auto. So this will do resistance also, oops. So I have a resistor here, this is a 10K resistor. Oh, and that's just spot on. <laughs> or it's pretty close. So it's 10.04. Now there's a tolerance in these resistors. Here, let me, I wanna show this better. I get a good measure on it. I'll hit that hold, <laughs> it's shifted a little bit, but here you can see that it says 9.95K. We can also use this to check continuity. So if I just hold them together, it will beep. Now these aren't super fast. So if that's a feature you need in your meter, this is probably not the best option, but it's there if you do need it. So here I have a jumper. Let's see if it is broken or if it works. Okay, so it works. So you have that beep and it lights up green. So let me turn off my light here. Let's hold this down. And here you can see that backlight. So if you're working on a car or an appliance and it's dark, you can do that and turn on that backlight. And then let's show that flashlight again. Here's that flashlight. Again, not super bright, but it could be just enough light to achieve what you're doing. So then when you're done, you can take your probes and clip them in the back. And we will turn this off. Kind of wrap up the cords and that could fit in a glove box or a toolbox, a tool bag or a drawer or something ready for next time. So that's the Kaiweets KM201 Smart Multimeter. I really like the compact size of this. I had a power meter I was keeping in my camper and it's a little bit bigger than this, but it had detachable leads and I don't use it much in the camper, but I want to have one. This is gonna be a better option for me, I think. It's in this tiny little package, it won't take up much room and I could use this to diagnose problems with the AC systems or the 12 volt systems on my camper. Of course, you could use this on a car, fixing appliances, things like that. Now this doesn't have all all the features of some larger ones you can't do capacitance or diode testing with it but i'd say they packed a lot of features in this small size and this will actually do most of the tasks that i use my meter for anyway so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye